Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex Drops, and I'm here to show you my design for wireless redstone. And that was actually um, kind of requested from a friend to build something for a game he was making. We needed to send a signal up into the sky, and we didn't really want a giant redstone line, you know, just ruining the whole effect. So I threw this together. I had some, I have a somewhat good knowledge of command blocks, and I put this together. I'm not sure if anyone has made this design or concept before. But um, let me show you how it works. As you see, that thing is completely in the air. There's no redstone going up toward it. If I just stand here and press this button, the redstone lamp will turn on. Now, this is very cool. And um, I am positive that you will notice that there was a small graphical glitch in it. Um, that's because the whole concept is off command blocks. And. Um, if I change this back to true, you'll see what's going on. Um, as you see, I was teleported, and that's all how this whole thing works, actually. It's based off teleportation with command blocks. This first one simply teleports you to this small pod here, and it'll drop you right down on that pressure plate. <coughs> and then one tick later, the second one will teleport you from that pod back to your home and it happens in about a few ticks so it is definitely nothing that that small graphical thing that happens isn't really a huge deal at least for me it's not and I mean it's extremely small compact it's very fast um, the only reasons I have this delay here is because I want to have time to look up and see the lamp turn on um, but as far as reliability goes that's where I kind of need some help. I don't know if you just saw it didn't work the last time, but um, the thing is, the Y coordinate with the pressure plate is extremely buggy. Um, the exact coordinate for this pressure plate right now for Y is 63. If I go check what I had, I have 62.7, and I've been trying all kinds of numbers. Um, but the hardest thing is, if I do 63. I'll actually spawn a small amount above the pressure plate, and I won't have time to fall and activate it beforehand. Um, it's very frustrating because it would make perfect sense, but it doesn't work like that. And so I tried putting it where I actually spawn into the block. Um, if I just teleport there, you'll see. I'm actually like inside the block, but it's not a huge deal because you get spawned immediately back. Um... Yeah, so if you guys want to try this, I'll show you how to build it in a couple, uh, few moments here. And if you build this and try to think of a better way to actually implement the Y coordinate. Now, if I increase the delay here, it would work seamlessly because I would be spawning perfect on it. But there would also be a greater time spent on this pressure plate. And then all the people who would be pressing this button would like, you know, they would see a larger graphical change and we kind of want it to be subtle like I said it's only like two ticks which is really really good um so yeah so I'm going to show you how to build it now it's very simple if you don't know already because there really isn't much more than this but I'll try to put it in a easier to see way um you can you can you don't need this first um repeater here but I'm just trying to make the pulse travel through it easier and so this is my input here the output I'm gonna need to get a pressure plate and I haven't used a tripwire, a tripwire might be a better solution but again this is all just a test anyway we're gonna put that into a repeater just so we have time to look at what we did and then we'll just put a piston there for the heck of it so first thing we need to do is uh, find the coordinates of this. And um, we got 1058, negative 1044. 1044. Now I left out the Y, the y coordinate, and I'm going to get that right now. It's normally 56 on this map. I don't know why I picked that number. But... We're going to go one lower than that 
to 55, and then I'm going to add a decimal. I'll do 0 0.7. I'm not sure what the absolute best one is. And so we'll be at 55.7, and if we just tell, press that right now. Okay, all I need to do is add the teleport command. So we'll do slash TP or just TP, and then at P. And you will be the closest player from here, and it'll just teleport you to here. And as you see, I'm like in the block, but that's not a huge deal, like I said. So you'll just get teleported right back anyway. Now, in the second one, we're going to need to put our home or our original location, which will be 1060, negative 52. Ten. Oh, I forget the one. I have a terrible memory. You have 1052, okay. And we can go ahead and make this one the original Y value. And I'll throw in my slash TP at P. And that's all you need to do pretty much. We'll stand right here, press it. And as you see, 